Tournament Center. I'm Randy Bueller, it's Brian David Marshall. It's now day two of Pro Tour Yokohama. We had 331 people show for day one. They played eight rounds of Time Spiral Planar Chaos Block Constructed. 115 people got the five and three mark necessary to go to day two. So that's the scene ready for day two. Now, Friday night, we went last night after we finished up the day, had a nice dinner, and I, I was destroyed by jet lag. I actually crashed about 10 o'clock, felt very bad, missed out on the future site draft that you guys did. The, wor the, the legends of the pack you opened, though, made it all the way down to breakfast this morning. What was in that pack? So, I mean, I don't know. There were 13 cards, and then a Vesuvian shapeshifter, and a disintegrate. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what's in Future Sight other than a small handful of cards that I know. I actually, I actually don't know what cards are coming up. So I'm okay. like, I don't know what kind of fun I could do with the Super Shapeshifter. So I passed the Disintegrate and I took the Shapeshifter. Okay. And uh, yeah, which kind of breakfast this morning? I sit down next to Tim Willoughby and he's just like, I opened Stormvine, I got passed Disintegrates. <laughs> what kind of dream is that? Yeah. So his team won the draft. His team won the draft, but <laughs> yeah. What did you get? to get do anything cool with the Shapeshifter? I didn't get. I, I didn't really get anything going with the shapeshifter. None of the morphs came around. There wasn't anything terribly exciting for me to. All the morphs seemed to be lands or something in the third set. I don't know. <laughs> like. What, what did you think of future site? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I did a couple things that were really exciting. I didn't win any games. My deck was terrible. Wow. I just. I love slivers. Okay. Okay. And I try slivers all the time, so I'm like, I'm just gonna force slivers, and I don't care what happens. Okay. So I just took slivers over everything and decided I'm gonna have some fun. I ended up with two of the poison slivers. Okay. So there's a sliver, I think it's called, I don't remember the name of it, a virulent sliver. One green? Yeah. Just a green. Yeah. For a 1 1. And all slivers have poisonous one, one of the 87 new keywords. 704 new keywords. 704 new keywords. Venomous one, or poisonous one. So I went turn one, sliver, poisonous sliver. Yeah. Turn two, sidewinder, uh, sinew sliver, attack for two, and a poison counter. Turn three, two slivers, one of which being another poisonous sliver. Nice. So it's like getting for four poison counters. On turn four, I got the poison kill. Nice. Uh, I, I don't really care. I lost the match. I don't care. <laughs> I was there to have fun. I was yeah, playing a five. When was the last time you killed someone with poison? I've never killed someone with poison. I've gotten nine poison counters on someone three <laughs> times in my career. It's the first time I've ever killed anyone with poison. Uh, and then I got the, the new sliver, Legion sliver, Legion sliver, sliver Legion. Yeah, the one that gives every, all the slivers yeah. coat of arms? It's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's Werberg it's Wurber, to cast. Yeah, Wuberg. Wuberg, yeah, and uh, not Urborg, different card. And uh, yeah, I just gave all my, I had a trample sliver and poison slivers. Technically, I got two poison kills, because oh. I had two poison slivers out and a trample sliver, and everyone got plus six, plus six, and, okay. but he, he died of damage first, so, but it was fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. So there is a uh, future side pre-release going on in the background. The scene for Pro Tour Yokohama. Now we watched the round one feature matches. I guess it's round nine, first round of day two. Absolutely. And some pretty interesting matches. We focused on the top of the Swiss, sort of the guys that were doing well yesterday. So here you've got on the left, uh, Echimaria. He's the only undefeated left player left in the tournament. But uh, Mitsumura on the right, only a draw. So seven wins and a draw versus eight and zero, oh, and uh, two control players. So you had the blue black to fairy control, sort of bashing it out. Now, you found some really interesting cards in Echeverria's deck that you thought were the difference in the match, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, not A lot of players have Think Twice as like a, just a discrete card in their deck that they can get with Mystical Teachings, but Echeverria is playing three copies of the card main deck. And that card seems to be a real difference maker in the blue-black matchup. Uh, a lot of players have Aeon Chronicler or other card drawing that's just a little slower. Uh, I talked to Jose about the card and he said the card's very discardable. It's just, you know, if you get dismal failure or you have to, you know, it's a great target to discard because you just get the card right back. Uh, so That's a couple actually matches. That's a good thing. Like, I can discard this and not feel bad. Yeah. That doesn't sound like a compelling reason. Well, but you're going to have to discard something. And yeah, I'm not on, sure I buy that. And on but. turn two, a lot of games, you know, I mean, it's all about, you, you know how to play a, a control matchup. Yeah, well, it's all about land. You it's all about get more land than your opponent. So, That's the key to winning control. So, so if you have a hand, you have a solid hand, and, you know, you see two lands, and you see a think twice or two think twice, you absolutely keep that hand. You get sure. to pass, you draw a card. There's nothing for you to do on turn two if you don't play a lens also. Yeah. Now, so. the truth is, the reason I think Echevarria likes this deck is because he knows where it came from. And you got that story, too. He says uh, he's testing online, testing, testing, Magic testing. Online. Magic online. Can't find a deck that he loves. Friend emails him this deck list, says, this is a Kenji deck. Uh, you know, apparently, I don't know, I assume his friend just like extirpated Kenji in a Magic Online match. Print screen. Print screen, <laughs> copy the deck, ships the deck to Eshevarius. It's a Kenji deck, I'm going to play it. 
Uh, Seems to be working so far. Nine and zero. Nine and zero. Uh, he only changed one card. There were okay. two body doubles in Kenji's deck. He took one body double out, you know, to tinker around with stuff. He said, although he warned, he said, like you look at the numbers for like a Kenji deck or a Mori deck, and they're always very weird to look at. They might not make sense to you, but he's like, when you play the deck, you understand, you know, <laughs> how intricately woven it is and how tightly, you know, how it functions. He said the body double's been really exciting for him. Uh, killed a number of red players, Stormbind players, that he couldn't have beaten otherwise after they discarded a Bogart and Hellkite by just going, body double your wow. Bogart and Hellgate, kill you, fly for nice. five. So. Well, there's some big monsters flying around in the other match we watched, too. So Yoshi Fujita has got this mono blue deck. He's so worried about the mana in this format that he's just like, I don't even want a second color. Just islands and desert. Problem was, mono blue is not very good against a chroma. A chroma loomed large for Paulo Carvalho, and both in game one and in game two, a chroma came down. It's like I, I go over to game one, and it's like, okay, Scrib Ranger, that's kind of annoying against the mono blue deck. Uh, Carvalho actually attacked the Scrib Ranger just to get Toyoshi to tap mana for the desert, so he sacrificed it to a desert, got it killed, cleared a path for a chroma, and then Sayoshi, this play was awesome. This is You, you start seeing how Sayoshi Fujita had action. Uh, Carvalho goes a chroma. Sayoshi plays a draining well anyway. A chroma can't be countered, but she's worth eight counters on draining well. So suddenly there's a 9 9 flying draining well in play. Sayoshi figures now a chroma can't attack. Carvalho's going to have to leave a chroma on defense. Oh, here comes Scrib Ranger number two. Now Chroma can attack and untap, and that was game one. And game two, Carvalho just went wall of roots, uh, storage counter, storage counter, straight to a Chroma, and Sayoshi so could actually kill it with three counters off serrated arrows and three deserts, but Carvalho just waited to land enough red, fire breathing, killed him in one stroke, and uh, the, yeah. The so problem Yoshi with had a little bit of game against a Chroma, not enough game the, against a Chroma. The problem with Desert is it, you still get to deal the damage, even if you're going to kill the Chroma. Right, it's only after it, the damage It happens is dealt. after the damage is dealt, That's so exactly it, gets, right. it gets in there and so, finished off Tsuyoshi. Second loss for the weekend for Fujita, and uh, World's Top 8 competitor Kavaya moves up to 8-1. Uh, and one. The third match, this was probably the highlight, Olivier Ruel playing against his kid, Will Lowry. Now, Will Lowry, he's a kid from Texas. He's only played two PTQs in his life, wins the second one, shows up to the Pro Tour, 7-1, and one, no problem. A little bit of problem this morning. Did run into Olivier Ruel, but we're going to try to talk to this kid later. He's got an awesome-looking uh, red-white sliver deck. Seems like a lot of fun. Kids have a lot of fun. Lost this match to Olivier Ruel. But, Seems to be uh, we'll playing really well. On. He does. Seems, Seems to be playing player. really well. So that's the scene here from round nine at Pro Tour Yokohama. Stay tuned. There'll be plenty more all day. Brian and I will be bringing you tournament center coverage from here at Pro Tour Yokohama. Qualifiers are firing now for Pro Tour San Diego. Don't miss out on your chance to participate in the first two-headed giant Pro Tour. Team up with a buddy, then find a qualifier near you at www.wizards.com/ptq.